Hey everybody, this is Reagan Williams, your ride director for Cycle North Carolina. We're here in Durham, North Carolina at the American and Tobacco Campus. And in this segment, I'm going to talk a little bit about safety on the ride. On day one and possibly day two, when you're coming out of the mountains, you will experience some downhill sections as well as uphill sections. Some of these sections will be tough, so just remember, if you can't make it up the hill, you can always get off your bike and walk or you can flag down a SAG member or a SAG driver and they'll pick you up and help you out. Uh, when you're descending down the mountain, just remember to feather your brakes. Don't hold your brakes and ride them all the way down because that'll one, eat up your brakes and two, it'll also heat up your tire or your rim and you could possibly have a, a blowout coming down the mountain. Uh, that's the last thing we want to have to, to do is to pick you up because of a blowout uh, and have an injury. So just make sure you feather uh, your brakes, make sure you maintain a controlled speed, and then you'll come down the mountain in a safe uh, manner. Also, avoid pace lines out on the route. One of the main uh, causes of accidents is bike on bike contact. Just make sure you keep a nice distance from, from each other when you're riding. We know that some roads you're gonna be forced to ride single file line. Uh, so just make sure you keep a distance between your front tire and the person in front of you with their rear tire. Uh, once one person goes down, if you've got a pace line of people behind you, then you're going to have one rider go down after the other, and then we have, instead of one person being hurt, we have a multiple number of people being hurt. Uh, you'll also experience railroad tracks throughout the week. Just remember, in the early mornings, some of these railroad tracks will have dew on the tracks. And we all know that with rubber tires, rubber skinny tires at that, on the rubber tracks, they can be slippery and cause you to go down. So just, you know, to, to be uh, cautious, when you get to rubber tracks, cross them at a 90 degree angle. Do not cross them at a, at a 45 degree angle because that's when accidents happen. Or just get off your bike and walk across. That five or 10 seconds it takes you to get off your bike, walk across and get back on your bike can make a difference when if you try to ride them over and slip and fall then you in, injure yourself and then you're out of the ride for the rest of the week uh, also there will be times when we might have to evacuate the route i mentioned this earlier in the communication segment we'll have uh, different ways to communicate with you the, the rest stop captains at each rest stop will be notified and we'll pass out the information to riders at uh, rest stops we'll also do the text messaging service We'll do email, we'll have Facebook posts, as well as Twitter posts and our Instagram posts. So just make sure that you're in connect or you're connected with us with one of those options. So that way, if there is a, uh, a, a, a point in the ride where we have to evacuate the route, you'll be notified and we can get you off the route safely. Also, at intersections along the route, there will be some where they will be pretty busy with traffic. We are going to be going through towns where normal traffic is going to be going. We're going to be uh, going along with traffic. At busy intersections, we will have law enforcement where we feel uh, we need them the most. So just be, uh, be sure you, you're aware of your surroundings when you're going through intersections that do not have the law enforcement. And make sure you stop, look left, look right, look left again. And uh, make sure when you cross these intersections, uh, there's no cars coming uh, to your left, right, or behind you. So just make sure you use caution when going through any of these intersections. And when you ride by the police, make sure you tell them thank you for being out there and providing a safe route for you guys to get through the towns.